someone very close to my heart. She is a design and innovation strategist. Whether she's working with her clients or her students, she brings the magic of creative challenges alive. And similar to Lean, she is also a doodler. If you go to her Instagram page, you'll see a hundred days of doodling. And I'm, I'm quite you know, happy to say that I'm in a couple of them. <laughs> um, it's all about me, frankly. Um, what else have we got here? She has headed up the Dubai Service Jam, the Dubai Government Jam. A lot of us know her and we love her to pieces. She's an amazing storyteller and an amazing person. Ladies and gentlemen of the Creative Morning community, please put your hands up for Kiran Sajwani. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Kat. And thank you so much for uh, everyone here on Creative Mornings. I'm just going to do a little screen sharing magic and see if that works. And uh, let's see. Hold on a second. No, it's technology. It never goes according to plan. And. Oh, whoa. Can everyone see my screen? Hands up if you can. Thumbs up if you can. Cool. All right. Um, good morning. Thank you so much for making the time to be with us here today for Creative Mornings for our team of purpose. Virtual on purpose. I think I must have read that theme about a thousand times until it hit me. Virtual on purpose. It seems uh, it's hard to think of anything that we've done on purpose in the last few weeks. It feels like almost every one of our actions has been in response to or because of this pandemic. Staying at home because, working from home because, cooking at home because, you know, exercising at home because, or in my case, stress eating with too many snacks because. The actions for this because are necessary except the part about too many snacks. But this because has really thrown us for a loop. Uh, it's making me reevaluate what do I need and focus my energy on that versus what I want and getting distracted by that. It's also making me think very deeply about my identity and about who I am. And it reminded me some of the, one of the many things I like about Creative Mornings. They don't ask you what you do for work, but rather an interesting factoid about you to help spark conversation. So while my bio says I'm a design and innovation strategist and an adjunct professor, that's what I do rather than who I am. Who I am is a daughter, a sister, a friend, and a knowledge geek. As a daughter and sister, my attention and actions are focused on my family's health and safety. As a friend, while I could be more active, um, I stay connected with them in my own introverted, quirky way. As a knowledge geek, I try to connect with my students beyond the curriculum and remind them that it's okay not to be okay, that we're all trying to figure out this new normal together. So what I realize is that who I am is intrinsically linked to the relationships that I have with these people. And these people are amazing. My family, my friends, my colleagues, my students, they all inspire me in different ways and push me to be a better version of myself. This pushing and nudging led to a creative experiment with some of these awesome people. So many, many months ago, when we lo roamed these lands without face masks and permits, a good friend and I chatted about the Global Service Jam and bringing the fun back into Dubai's edition. So we got more cool people involved, and we all spent a crazy amount of time planning the, and promoting the funnest jam ever. And then a pandemic happened and we retreated into our homes. But our joyful purpose to change the world with design and a playful mindset still prevailed. So we thought about taking the Dubai service jam into our homes with a jam from home jam and try that as a playful experiment prototype, if you will. Did everything go according to plan? Of course not. We had lags in video, we had dropped choppy audio, dropped calls, challenges of the tools behind schedule, but it was amazing. 
Why? Because we had a fabulous team who decided to persist and try something new. The spirit of the team, the spirit of the jammers, the commitment and support from Global Jam HQ, they reminded me of the original essence and purpose of the jam, which was to explore and design solutions to unique challenges facing the world. You know, through this, we had some um, eye-opening perspectives, unusual solutions, crazy prototypes, funny yoga poses, jamming with music, and most of all, the loudest of laughter with the funnest of times with the most fantastic of folks. And as a side note, we also ended up with Dubai hosting the first ever digital jam in the global service jam community. Woohoo! <laughs> so as we come towards the end of this segment, if I can leave you with some corny words of wisdom. Firstly, when life throws you a curveball and you have to do things because, focus your energy on needs rather than getting distracted by wants. Wants are endless, but taking care of your needs are essential for survival. Secondly, think about who you are rather than what you do. Who you are is intrinsically linked with the relationships that you, that you have with these people. So take the time for them and treasure the people in your life. And finally, when in doubt about an experiment, do it anyway. If it works, you'll be glad you tried something and you'll have a good laugh at your people. And if it doesn't work, you'll learn things from trying new things and you'll have loads of good laughs with people. In hindsight, there's usually a lot more laughter when things don't go according to plan. And on that note, I'll ask you to applaud on purpose. Oh, man. <laughs> Kieran, Kieran, every time. See this face, see this face. You do it to me every time. You make me cry every time you talk. Oh. Can I just, can I just embarrass you? Yeah, go. I will. Um, sure. About <laughs> that's what I do. Um, a year, two years. When did we meet, Kieran, for the first time? Two years ago, three? I don't know. I'm lost in time. I don't know what month we're in. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. <laughs> when we met, you told me in the most persuasive manner that you are really not a storyteller. Put your hands up in the audience if you disagree with old Kieran who thought she was a bad storyteller. You're just amazing. <laughs> and every time I hear you speak, you do this to me. You bring out the, the tears in my eyes. It was just beautiful, beautiful. I will stop talking. Shivani, are you back? Are you back, Shivani? We've got technical glitches for poor old Shivani. Shivani? Oh, no. Mo, can we help out? <laughs> Is she here? Oh no, she's doing such a great job. Okay, well, okay. So I, I thought, I, I, thought ask... I heard Shivani. Do I? Do I not hear Shivani? No, I. Uh, I can ask the question. Please, for please, you, please, uh... Randa. Yeah. Yes. So we have a question from Greta, South Africa. Where do we draw the line between what we bring into our homes and what we leave in the outside uh, world? I think that's a really great question, and I think that's something that we all struggle with. Uh, and I want to refer back to what James said earlier. Bring back what you think will help you keep your sanity, and if you think it's going to affect your well-being, leave it out. You know, there's a big world out there, and they can deal with all the monkeys and craziness. Uh, bring only what helps you keep yourself sane, yourself happy, and helps you get through this. Um, you know, each one's line is different. Cool. And then, uh, yes. <laughs> do you have examples of how, like this is from me, just a follow-up question. Uh, do you have examples of how do you notice, like do you have a criteria of what do you notice that you can bring in or, or what you cannot? Like how do you know that? I, I would, uh, I like to think of myself as an empathetic person and an open welcoming person. So I always try and give everything a chance once. But if I find that after experiencing something, I'm feeling low or dark or frustrated or cranky or stress eating too much, I think that's something I don't bring in. I'm like, that goes out, you know. Okay. Uh, but if it brings me some joy, brings me some happiness, um, it comes in. And I think it, it requires giving everything a chance once. <laughs> So nice. this is from Noor, and this was more of a general comment than 
just a question for you, but I think you can also like chime in with this, which is, she says, can you imagine having to spend this time without all the wonderful online connection tools that we have? Oh, I, you know what? I don't know if this is the same Noor that's in my class, but we were chatting about um, the difficulty of being online while we're segregated and sequestered in our homes. But I also told them, like, can you imagine doing this without something like Skype or Zoom or, you know, all these other calling platforms? We'd be really struggling. I, I cannot fathom writing a letter, sending across and waiting for seven days for it to come back. I think I'd go batty. So things like, you know, phone and messaging and video calling, they make life a whole lot easier. I was chatting with someone in, in Canada, in the U.S., in Singapore. Um, and like this Zoom call, we would otherwise only have people who woke up in time and made it to, to Dubai for an 8.30 a.m. start. But without this, we have, with this, we have people from the U.S., from South Africa, from Europe, from Asia, all these people coming in to, you know, have a little brain spa moment. Uh, so I'm grateful for technology right now with these tools. <laughs> okay. And I think I'm sorry. I'm going to, I'm going to, st- no, oh. I'm going to stop you. I'm sorry. I'm just watching the time here. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're back on Shivani. That's awesome. Um, and just, I'm going to say something from the audience from Nicole in Dubai. The sound of your voice is so soothing, Kiran. Who would like Kiran to read you a story every night? Put your hands up. <laughs> 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 now back to my lovely voice. All right. <laughs>